What's up you guys? I hope you guys are having a fabulous day or night whenever you guys are watching this video. And today we're going to be doing my handbag wish list of 2024. I have talked about most of these bags in this list, but we're just going to go ahead and repeat them. You guys know I just really started shopping again like within the last like two months, so I definitely have some things that I do want to purchase. Is this list very realistic for me? Yes. Do I plan on getting every single handbag on this list? No, but I do want to say about maybe like five or six of them I do want to add. Um, I do want to have into my core collection. So I think that this is going to be a really great list um, and reflect at the end of the year that I end up going for it, that I not end up going for it, what worked out for me, what didn't work out for me. So this is also a really great video for me. If you guys have any, any handbags on y'all's wish list for 2020, for, I would love to hear it. It can be uh, as simple as like a $20 bag or maybe finding like a vintage coach bag all the way to an Hermes Birkin, a Chanel Classic Flap, um, anything. I definitely want to hear it down below. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to add is an Hermes Birkin or an Hermes Kelly. This year is going to be the year for me that it's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. I do want to purchase this bag towards the to a ride around my birthday. My birthday is in September, so I'm already kind of like in the back of my mind saying, you know, uh, this is a bag that I will be making. So there are other things that I mean, honestly, prioritize because I do want to prioritize this purchase. I will be 24 this year. I cannot believe I feel so old already, but I still have so much life ahead of me. But I just thought by celebrating my birthday, I think I deserve it all. I work hard. I'm going to work hard, even harder this year. So an Hermes Birkin is definitely going to be played in the cards for me. Um, I'm very, very open on the size um, and the color and the hardware. It can be either gold or silver. Um, and the color, as long as it's not like a super crazy, like, lilac purple hot pink neon green as long as it's not a super vibrant over the top obnoxious color um as long as it's somewhat of a neutral color i'm really open towards it so whatever bag i end up getting uh i'll be happy with but most likely an hermes birkin 30 with silver hardware uh, or black or white or like something like that i'm definitely open for it but i will start my hermes journey probably around spring break march and then just kind of go from there there are some few purchases that i do want to buy from hermes so you'll be seeing me make those purchases throughout the vlog so make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe button so you don't miss any one of my uploads because we are going to be taking this channel by storm in the year of 2024 but an hermes birkin but i do want to add another hermes bag on this list to kind of get my feet wet into the hermes brand and the handbag is going to be the Hermes Picatin. Now, I don't really mind the size and the colorway. I maybe uh, like a lighter color would be a little bit perfect. I think that the Picatin in the spring and the summer looks super cute, like for a Sunday funny brunch. It looks more casual. Um, it looks more, I mean, it looks more nicer in the spring and the summer more than in the fall and the winter. But the Hermes Picotin is another one. Um, but I'm open for either or colors just because all the other bags in this list, I obviously know the color that I want to get. So whatever color I kind of get offered, like I said, I'm very open to suggestions. I'm very open to recommendations. So whichever one um, in the colorway. But as I get my journey and I make my wishes, I'll obviously share that with you guys and we'll kind of go from there but as of now i'm pretty much open and i do want these both to be brand new from the hermes boutique i do not want to uh, go and buy them secondhand i want them to be brand new from the store number three is going to be a coach bag and this is going to be the coach tabby just the classic tabby um, I'm waiting to see on the coach website if they add more customizations into the tabby bag Now this tabby that I will be getting will be customized to me because if you go on the coach website You can customize it and I think there's nothing more beautiful than having own personalization on your own item Something that is very maybe like me very simple but unique and very much to me I want to put a hot simp on my initials. I want to make sure this bag is very Sergio secret very Sergio um, I want to make sure I love it, use it, take care of it, and I think that the tabby has to solidify itself as a classic bag for the brand. Um, even when you go to certain coach outlets, they still have this bag full price and people still buy it full price at an outlet. Um, I just think that the tabby is not going to go anywhere anytime soon for the coach brand. And I think I haven't bought a coach bag in a hot minute. I'm not going to say I can lie to you guys. And I think me getting reintroduced into coach, I think the coach tabby custom to whatever I want it to be. 
I think it is a phenomenal start into starting my coach collection again. So Coach Tabby, we're gonna get it and most likely in a customization that I like for myself that I will get a lot of wear and a lot of use out of. Number four, I am due for a new purse. So purse is just another name for wallet. I am due for another wallet. I do have my Gucci Dionysus wallet with the silver hardware. I do like it, but I do find that I am getting a little bit of wear on that wallet. And I do want to change it up. I do want something that I can maneuver. And I really have been really on the search for a really nice wallet ever since I got my Alexander McQueen green croc bag. And I found the perfect one. It's 275 And I know this is not technically a handbag, but it is a handbag item that I will be using. And it is this Strathberry croc embossed wallet for $275. And I love Strathberry leather um, on the outside, but the thing is Strathberry leather can be a little delicate, so I love that the inside of the wallet has more of that nicer, luxurious Strathberry leather that I'm, that I'm known and I love. But I love that outside it has green crocs, so I do get the best of the both world, a hard wearing and a soft wearing a material. The soft wearing being on the inside, the hard the hard wearing on the outside. I do love the pill gold hardware, and I love that I, I I love that you can get your initials on this, and I will be getting my initials on this wallet. I really haven't thought about Strathberry and their small leather goods, but at my job we have Strathberry, so I look at them and I play with them, and that's what made me go into the Strathberry website, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what? Um, this is a wallet that I definitely do want to get. I probably will get this within the first six months of the year. Um, just because I like I said, I don't change out my wallet very often. I like to have the same wallet for like three, two, three years plus. I'm okay with not have changing out my wallet all the time. My bags, I like to change out as far as my outfits, but um, my wallet's something that can ultimately remain the same. I don't really change out. It has three card slots, so one for my Amex, one for my debit, and one for my ID, a few dollar bills, and that's all I really carry nowadays in my in my wallet. So it's nice, it's spaced out, it looks very luxurious, very high end, and for under 300 bucks, I think it's perfect. So Strathberry, I'm coming for you, and probably out of all the items in this list, this will probably end up being the first one that I get. I just think that it's so pretty, like I said, uh, I thought about looking like at the designer brands like Saint Laurent, Gucci. Uh, Hermes, nothing really spoke to me until I saw this Strathberry one. It just spoke to me. It was love at first sight. So if you guys have this wallet, definitely let me know down below. But I think it's so pretty in color and texture, especially in the green color, because you know what they say, green wallets bring up good luck and more money into your life. So that's what I'm manifesting, and that's why I'm gonna go for the <laughs> Strathberry wallet. Um, number five is going to be the Toy Bridge Kira drawstring bag. Um, this comes in at $8.98, and this is kind of like their take on the Chanel um, 22 bag. But I love this bag a lot more than the Chanel 22, just because it looks a lot more structured. Now, I have yet to see this bag in person, but it is a very, very, very strong contender on my list. I love it so much already. I already just purchased the Tory Burch Kira Chevron um, quilted bag, which you'll see in one of my future vlogs. Um, I already purchased it, so it should be coming in within the next few days. Um, and so I, that bag was going to be on the list, but I already bought it. So I was like, I bought it in 2023, not in 2024. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna put it on this list, but I did see this one on their on their website. And this is going to be a big push in the spring and the summer. So I'm mean, putting on this list as a maybe. This is probably the only maybe bag on the list, just because I haven't seen it in person, but I would love to see it. But um, I do love this drawstring bag um, from Tori, and hopefully it fits my laptop and stuff, because if it fits my laptop, Oh baby, it's gonna get a lot of wear. I'll probably go home with me, but we shall see. Number six is going to be the Carolina Herrera bowling bag. I talked about this. I didn't end up getting it for Christmas, but it is a bag on top of my list. Um, and the reason why I didn't go for it was because I it wasn't as big as I thought. I thought the bag was gonna be a lot bigger. Um, and so when I went to go see it in the boutique, I was a little underwhelmed. But then I saw somebody, a fabulous lady, she was like an older lady, she had this bag and it just looked really put together, looked really, really nice. Um, and it kind of made me fall in love with the bag again. But I need bags that fit my laptop, I, there's other bags that I prioritize. I think that the bowling bag from Carolina Herrera is a gorgeous bag, it's just not in my top five. But it's something that I do eventually want to add, not on my top five list, but it is on my top ten list. Carolina Herrera initial bag. Um, this one is at $14.65. Um, I keep seeing these come in really, really pretty colors. I think the day when I buy this, I'm going to see whatever stock, whatever store I go to, 
that means I'm in La Ciudad de Mexico, which I do have a trip for that later on in the year. Um, I'll probably end up buying it there because the conversion rate, Kilden Herrera is a lot more lower. Like it's a lot, it's a, it's a bigger chunk of change that you'll say buying it in Mexico than here in the States. So, um, the Kilden Herrera initial bag is on the list, but I'm just still not sure on the colorways, but we shall see the colorways that they come out with it. Number eight is a tote that I want to buy for my trip to New York or one of my trips that I have in the beginning of the year is going to be this Kuyana a simple tote. So I did watch this YouTuber called Michelle Wang. I do like watching a lot of her videos just because she's very calm and I just love watching her videos when I'm like driving or when I'm, you know, cooking or whatever I'm doing. Um, I, she reviewed this bag uh, and one of the beginning of her videos and, I, I, you know, I see the bag at my job all the time and you know, when I saw, when I went back to work in Orchard, I saw, you know, I saw the Kuyana bag, I was like, oh, it's nice, it's, you know, whatever, but once I saw Michelle Wang, like, actually kind of, like, like, you know, show it, I was like, oh my god, and then the next shift, I, like, looked at it, I started studying it, so, you know, this is actually a really nice tote, I can't believe I looked past, uh, past by the Kuyana tote, but it's also my, my first month back in December, I, there's a lot of other things that I need to take care of, but I did take the time to like it, and I think it's so pretty, and I, I'm thankful that I can buy this with my discount, um, this Kuyana simple tote with the two handles, black, luxurious, it's very giving, much giving the row vibes. It feels like the row kind of grainy leather, but for under $300, um, this will probably be, uh, this and probably the Strathbury wallet are probably the first two purchases of the year, just because I'm super simple, super sleek, and like I said, I want things that can take and I can wear with things that I already have in my existing wardrobe. Um, I am missing a black leather tote that I do want to buy. I have my white Bottega tote. I want a black one. The Marc Jacobs tote bags, I'm kind of over them just because I did work there for two years. I love them and I enjoy them, but I worked there for two years, so I'm kind of sick and tired of seeing them in my face all the time, but I think that they're really nice, well-made bags. But just for me, I'm just tired of seeing it. When you see the same bag for two years, but I don't know if my other SL associates see that. If you work at YSL, you see YSL bags every day. Eventually, you get tired of them. If you work at Burberry, eventually, you get tired. So that's why I went back to Nordies because I get to play around with new and different merchandise from different brands. And it keeps it spicy and it keeps it interesting. But the Kuyana Simple Tote, um, I do really like. And I think it's such a great price point. And the leather is phenomenal. Like, I love it. I'll probably show it in one of my future vlogs uh, while I'm working. Number nine is another bag that I will be able to get with my discount because we do carry it. It's going to be the Alaya Heart Bag. It comes in at $12.90, so um, there's a white one and the black one. I'm kind of leaning towards the white one just because I already have a lot of white trainers, so it's kind of like a matchy-matchy set. You guys know how I get down. If I can get the matchy-matchy set, I am more happier. I love matchy-matchy sets because when I don't know what to wear, just wear a matchy-matchy set, matching you know blazer, trouser, matching shoe, bag. You're good to go. You're out the door, and you keep it moving. But a lot of heart bag, I, this is another bag that I will get, especially with my discount, so I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and run it up and at number 10 is going to be a Demilier clutch so the Demilier clutch I do want it kind of gives me like a Bottega Veneta kind of like pouch style um I just I'm in my soft girl era soft man era I'm just very more calm I'm more relaxed but I'm very very focused I'm consistently busy but I'm not doing like crazy like ratchet shit anymore like I'm definitely am becoming more <laughs> mature even though I feel like I, I, I already been but I feel like with smoother leathers and things that are a little bit more delicate, I think I can handle it in my lifestyle. I'm not as rough with my items as I used to be. Uh, like I said, I'm in my soft girl era, so what you know about that. But the Miller bag, I do love it. Like I said, since they're more the lower price point bags, I do see myself buying them a little bit more. And that will kind of have my urges until I get the Hermes Birkin bag. Because other than that, um, the Hermes bags are pretty much the more expensive bags uh, as far as price point. Because all the other bags... Are pretty much you know under fifteen hundred dollars so I think that's a that's a really big <laughs> jumps but I don't know some of the prices of these designer bags have just gotten so expensive guys like I don't want to pay you know three thousand dollars for a, a, a bag I don't want to pay five thousand for a bag if I want to if I'm paying that much money I want to make sure something that uh, I'm gonna have forever and some of these the way these brands be acting the way these brands have been you know going through these bags left and right it makes me kind of not want to buy them so if I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy from the top to the top or I'm going to buy mid-range but from the best of the best. And so that's why this list is the way it is. 
because uh, I'm being more financially responsible, or financially frugal. I'm not gonna buy a trendy three thousand dollar bag. I'm just not gonna do it. If I'm gonna spend that three thousand dollars, it might as well be an Hermes Picotin. If I'm gonna, if I want a trendy bag, I'll do a contemporary one under five hundred bucks. But um, I'm definitely prioritizing my handbag styles. And like I said, none of these have monogram. All these are very simple. A lot of these are not super super overdone, and some of them are probably bags that you haven't even heard. But I want to know what bags you have on your list for 2024. Are they designer? Are they contemporary? Monogram? No monogram? Quite luxury? Luxury? I want to hear it all down below. The Margo from the row was also a really big contender. But those have been sold out from Nordstrom for a while. And I don't want to buy it without my discount. So maybe if that bag does come, that's probably a good number 11 contender. But other than that, I'm happy with this list. And as long as I get maybe like 4 or 5 bags out of this list, I'll be totally happy. I'm already blessed to have enough, but I'll, you know, if I, a little few things, you know, you know, pop myself out, but it means the deals, the air means broken. I do want to get it, but I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for each and every single one of you for watching my videos, guys. Let me know y'all's list down below. I want definitely want to hear it down in the comment section, and I'll see you guys on the next video, guys. Bye, guys, and take care. I love each and every single one of you, and I'll be putting the links for each and every for each and every individual item in the description box. Bye, guys, and take care.